Hey guys, so obviously the Chargers game, Chiefs Chargers game last night. Um, it's in the middle of the week. I'm coaching high school ball. Um, I actually missed part of the game, to be completely honest with you. Had to go rewatch it um, after I got home last night. So uh, it's it really hard to make a reaction video if you if you've got coaching going on in the evenings. So. Uh, this will be a weird one. Normally, I will go ahead and make a video, you know, on, on Sunday right after the game. Um, even though I got a coach's meeting usually that evening, too. So, it's I'm struggling trying to figure out a schedule on how to get out content um, for the page because I, I don't want to give the page up at all uh, um, for the YouTube channel, to be clear. I don't know why I called it a page. I guess I'm just old. <laughs> um, no, man, like. I want to get I want to get content out for you guys, uh, but I'm just struggling to figure out timing and stuff like that. I'd like to get post game reaction videos out in a very timely manner, where it's you know quickly after the game, you guys can kind of hear my thoughts and stuff. Uh, this one was just too much of a challenge, and I decided to go ahead and do my first live video this morning, kind of knowing that nobody's going to turn into the the live at nine in the morning. I get it, but. Um, I'm out and about already. I'm already in my coaching gear. Um, I'm at a physical therapy appointment with my oldest son and then, um, got to go drop him off at home. And then I got to go to football cause we have an 11 o'clock walkthrough. We have a kind of a strange football game today. Um, we're playing a high school football game at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. Uh, so that's, it's weird, man, but we'll check it out. Um, they scheduled us for homecoming and then they scheduled us at four o'clock cause there's no school for the kids in Omaha today, uh, due to like teacher stuff. But anyway, we're going to go take care of them dudes down there. And then, um, I get a Friday night for once to just chill and do like adult things. So that'll be cool. Anyway, with all that being said, I appreciate you guys supporting me so much. I appreciate it. Uh, we're like two minutes into this video, which is why I didn't want to make a short cause I had a lot to say. So I thought I'd go with a live just so because I know it, it keeps this video and I just don't have time to do editing and stuff today. So um, let's get right into the game, man. Uh, my overall reaction to Chiefs Chargers is this. We played a bad game against a good team and won. Um, that. Sounds negative, uh, but it's actually a positive. If you can play one of your worst games, and I think that was not a good game by a lot of people, and you can beat a team as good as the, the Chargers, then things are looking really good. Also, another thing I want to acknowledge is that we are 2-0 and against this tough schedule, and I talked about it early on, that first four games, first four or five games, of the schedule is the gauntlet and we're two and oh man so i am pumped bro um did we get some breaks yeah we got some breaks and you're gonna get some breaks if you win a lot of football games so i'm not look man don't read into it too much uh we just get bounces sometimes last year at the beginning of the year we got bounces that went uh the other team's way and it's why we had such struggles and stuff so um interesting to think about it that way but Let's talk about Pat Mahomes. I thought his performance uh, was sub Pat Mahomes. Not necessarily bad. Obviously, he had pretty decent numbers. Um, two interceptions that could have happened, but I'm not PFF. I'm not into interception-worthy throws and all that stuff. It, was it a pick or was it not a pick? Uh, I live in reality. So those weren't picks. Sorry. Um Justin Herbert could have thrown two as well. I mean, he threw the big one, obviously, the 99-yarder to our rookie. Uh, good job, Jalen Watson. Um, but he also could have thrown another pick uh, right down the middle to both, uh, I think it was Willie Gay and Nick Bolton, uh, had hook, hook curl zone right in the middle. I mean, those guys, I think they knocked it down from each other, one or the other. I haven't watched the film. But overall, the defense looked really good. They had some moments where they looked young and they missed some tackles. Um, but pressure, we were able to get a little bit of pressure. Uh, some of that was after the Chargers lost a couple of their offensive linemen. But 
I don't care about that stuff, man. You got to do your job against whoever's out there on the field. It's not our problem who is out there on the field. So I know a lot of analysts and stuff are going to say, well, it was against backups. And they're NFL football players. They get paid to. I don't care what your name is. Get in there. And if you're against a backup lineman, you better dominate. And, and they did, man. So pass rush looked good most of the game, but it looked even better once they lost their two linemen. Uh, pretty happy with the young uh, corners and safeties. They all looked pretty good in coverage. We had a couple of lapses, you know, I mean, but that's a good football team, man. You can't take it away from them. And I think a lot of people do. They just expect you to go out and dominate all the time. Those other guys get paid too, brother, and, and they're a really good football team. So give them some credit. Um, the running game looked pretty good. Clyde edwards Hilaire. I want to talk about him for a moment. He had another pretty good game, and it's, you know, everybody knows that follows my channel knows that I'm not a huge Clyde fan, uh, but you got to give him credit when he does things right, bro, and he did. He did do things right, so um, he did have one play on a screen play where he ran outside of his blockers instead of getting behind his blockers, and I absolutely came unglued. Because it was maybe the worst play I've ever seen from an NFL running back. Just no vision whatsoever. Just get behind your blockers and you maybe score on that play and it changes the game. But a few plays later, I think on the next drive, he came back and on a power play, read his blockers perfectly and got another 20, 25 yards and really made a difference in the game at the time. So it was kind of... Okay, you had one really bad play, and overall, you played uh, pretty well. And even on the bad play, let's be honest, he got good yardage. So, um, I was just mad that he didn't read his blocks correctly. I, I, former running back, so when I see that kind of stuff, I'm pretty hard on running backs. I don't have a lot of empathy for them, uh, because when you screw your blockers over, it's, it's not good, man. The blockers know that. Uh, the linemen know that. They know when you're making things hard for them, so... Clyde's got to get better about that, but I'm pretty excited about the running backs. Um, Pacheco got time again. You know, I don't think he did anything super amazing. I saw some decent plays out of Pacheco, so he's he's coming along. I think the three of those backs are just – that's a pretty good group of backs, man. Um, overall, man, I'm happy with the performance. I would like to talk about Justin Herbert for a moment. Um, I haven't looked it up. I haven't had time yet. I think that fool cracked his ribs. And if that's the case, if he was out there playing with some cracked ribs the way he did, what a gutsy performance, man. And I hope the younger generation of, of current like high school and junior high football players were watching that and the way he handled that because that was a big deal, man. That kid, uh, there were times where he just couldn't throw it. We saw that one play where he rolled out. And honestly, if he had just kept running, probably could have got a first down. He couldn't do that. And then he tried to just throw it away and could barely throw it away, man, uh, which was crazy, dude, uh, that he was out there on the field trying to gut that out. And I even said during the game, this is one of those things where, you know, if it backfires on him and he ends up losing him the game by uh, doing something out there that he wouldn't normally do if he wasn't hurt, then – you know, it could be looked at as a selfish thing to be out there trying to play. Uh, but I didn't take it that way, man. I thought, you know, he said to himself, I'm the dude, the team's counting on me, I got to be out there, and I'm going to play. So hats off, man, to Justin Herbert. That dude is the real deal. Um, I'm excited about our future matchups with the Chargers. I think they're growing into a really special team. And, dude, uh, you can't be mad at them, man. I'm happy for them that they found their guy. And uh, you got to just tip your hat and be respectful of their guy. I mean, that he's a dude. He's a dude. So super excited about the Chargers. What did you guys think, man? Like, what stood out to you? I was really happy with the defense overall. Uh, like I said, I think they made some young player mistakes, but they're flying around. We got team speed everywhere. Um, and let's be honest, man. Those Madden ratings are finally going to go up on some of those dudes. <laughs> oh, my love affair, my love-hate relationship with Madden. It's the only football game there is, so I have to play it. But it sucks. It's terrible. 
anyway guys that's a 10 minute live uh hit me up in the comments if you hadn't already i'll respond guys um out and about we got like i said high school friday night lights tonight <laughs> although we're not going to be playing under the lights we're playing an early game for a homecoming uh, so that'll be interesting in all honesty we should be able to handle those dudes uh, we did win last week i can't remember if i updated you guys uh, we won a nice game last week my freshman won on wednesday uh, so the season's going well uh hoping and focusing on ending tonight as a three and one football team which is really good so with that like share subscribe all that good stuff if you guys want me to start doing live videos at more appropriate times um, i will definitely start doing that and maybe this will be what my reaction videos are live so give me some feedback please guys let me know what you're what you're wanting uh, this one was kind of out of necessity if you came in late to the video you can watch the beginning and I kind of explained why I did this one. It's just a time crunch. I had uh, team dinner and stuff last night, and then I had to go straight to physical therapy with my kid this morning, and then on to um, on to football at 11 o'clock this morning. So just had no time to edit a reaction video, so this is how I did it. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, love you. See you soon. Wish us luck. Bye.